Mike Moore Media. I'm checking in with our friend Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. Eddie, I tell you, there's so much going on. No chit chat, no talk about the weather. Let's jump right in. <laughs> it's a busy, busy, busy time. It really is, Mike, especially with, with summer coming up and, and school graduation. So lots going on, and we'll jump right in uh, this Saturday, uh, the 27th. I don't think we could pack it any fuller here mm-hmm. with the Arts Council. We've got a, a gallery reception opening for Shannon Smith, wonderful artist out of Madison, North Carolina. I don't mm-hmm. know if you're familiar with Madison, but mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice little area of it the is. state. It's lovely. And yeah. Shannon's just a fabulous artist, so we... Uh, uh, we're so excited to have her exhibiting here for the first time. She'll be in the Apple Gallery, and that reception is 2.30 to 4 p.m. Again, this Saturday, Shannon Smith, and wonderful paintings. Uh, I mean, you just, you just got to see it. So uh, uh, going to be a special day. We have music the same time. The James Carter family, a local gospel group, will be uh, as part of this reception. So we'll have some music going on. And later that day, and both of those those things are free, mm-hmm. uh, the exhibit reception and the Carter Family uh, Gospel Concert. Later that evening at 6.30 p.m., the um, Shared Radiance Shakespeare Company will present The Comedy of Errors mm-hmm. by William Shakespeare. This is going to be a fast-paced comedy, 75 minutes uh, is all it's going to take, and, and we get to soak up an incredible Shakespeare play. A live play, and uh, Shared Radiance is a group out of the Piedmont of North Carolina, um, kind of actually situated, I guess, right between, around the Kernsville area. But uh, great Shakespeare group, and uh, I think it's kids 18 and under are free. It may be $10 for adults. I'm not sure. You'd have to check out the website. But I'm looking at it now is, on your Facebook page. Okay. And it is, yes. Yeah, and that's Saturday. So uh, exhibit reception. Come stay for the gospel music. Come stay for Shakespeare. We've got, uh, rumor is we have uh, pound cake in our coffee shop and, and Rockies and some great ice cream. So uh, come over and just spend the day here in Stokes County and you know go hike at Hanging Rock in between things and come back for the for the Shakespeare show that evening. Wow. All in one day on Saturday. <laughs> okay. All in one day. Yeah, yeah. We don't have anything else to do, so we just pack it all in on a Saturday. Sure. Yeah, do that. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, then the Stokes County Arts Council on Sunday, the 28th, we are partnering with the King American Legion Post 290. We'll be um, hosting a uh, Veterans Memorial um, recognition and uh, Memorial Day. I'm sorry, I, I mentioned veterans, but it, it is for those that have lost their lives in service of our country, Memorial Day. Mm-hmm. That's 28 to 5 p.m., and that will be at the Stokes Veterans Memorial in King. And uh, we've got special music by Ken Bloom. Uh, Commander Ed Ballard of the American Legion Post 290 will be our, our guest speaker. And the National Anthem, the Department of Defense National Anthem arrangement will be uh, our West Oaks High School seniors will be performing. So it's it's a day to come out and, uh, again, recognize those who have lost their lives. It's a special day for me because I have a brother-in-law that lost his life um, in service mm. of the United States Army uh, during the Gulf War. And so... Um, Memorial Weekend and Memorial Day, uh, those services are are special for uh, for our family, and and hopefully we will all uh, gather and and remember those that have lost their lives. And again, that's Sunday, 5 p.m. Tw- at, on uh, the 28th of May at the Stokes Veterans Memorial in King. Okay, got it. I'm looking at the uh, schedule here. That yeah, what a very special uh, uh, program that will be for sure. Okay. Yes. And then uh, just a reminder to folks, our kids' summer camps, uh, art camps, are filling up very quickly. Uh, I don't have an update at this point. I know some of them are are close to being full. We have everything from beginning pottery. That's the first one, June 12th to the 16th. Uh, Hand-building sculpture uh, would be the next one, June 19th to the 23rd. Theater camp. Uh, We also have another beginning pottery wheel, visual arts camp, and we have a landmarks and history art camp. So we've got some things different, but they're great kids' camps, a uh, great introduction to to the arts, visual and performing in theater. And so, uh, and they're very, very affordable. So we always tell people it's cheaper than, than a babysitter. Send them to the Stokes County Arts Council Kids Summer Art Camps and, 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 uh, Let's get busy making some art. Oh, yeah. This is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for these young people. And, yeah, very affordable it, indeed. Yeah, okay. And yeah, then... We've got, we've, 
Okay, yeah. go ahead. I, I was getting ready for well, Dolly. I was going to belt out, hello, Dolly. Dolly. That's okay. right. Okay. Dolly oh. is a one-woman show, Lindsay Payne. Uh, the uh, schedule for June 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's the East Coast premiere. Uh, this is going to be a fabulous one-woman show. Uh, the life and stories of the leading lady of country music, Dolly Parton. And uh, uh, it's been in Vegas. It's had a Vegas run. It's never been on the East Coast. And in Stokes County, we're, we're just so honored to be hosting this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's logistic. The work out the logistics has been has been something uh, to get it here. But um, uh, June the 9th, it's a Friday at 7 p.m. June the 10th at 7 p.m. And June 11th, it's a Sunday matinee at 3 p.m. Um, uh, tickets are selling quickly, so I think we're only limiting maybe 100 tickets per show or 125. So if people want to want to see a one-woman show based on the life of the one and only Dolly Parton, you better get your tickets now. We don't expect them to be available at the door. And then hopefully we'll have future runs of this. Uh, I don't know about here, but we'll try to get them back to North Carolina and and other other areas around here. But mm-hmm. uh, uh, it's it's had great reviews out out west, and so uh, we're going to hopefully have some great reviews here. So uh, I'm sure you will. Uh, yeah, don't, and, don't and, a, and another first, another first for Stokes County Arts another Council. First. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and okay. that's what we, uh, thanks for mentioning that, Mike. We try to be unique and, and try to pull together some things that are a little different from our area. And we couldn't pass on this. And um, after a little research, we found the show and talked to the folks, and they were just so. I uh, look forward to have them. They're going to be flying into. Um, the group's going to be flying into Greensboro and then spending a few days here. And uh, so come check out Dolly. Come mm-hmm. check out Dolly. And leading up that Saturday, I also want to mention singer-songwriter Alicia Bullard. Uh, that Saturday the 10th, she'll be our featured artist as far as some of our, our market concerts. That's 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, that's a free concert. She's a fabulous singer-songwriter. And uh, Alicia Bullard, uh, local lady and uh so don't miss that again another another busy busy weekend uh, mm-hmm. that weekend and then i'm going to jump ahead we've got um we're partnering stokes arts with the town of walnut cove and the historic walnut cove colored school we're going to be celebrating juneteenth on saturday june 17th in downtown walnut cove 10 a.m to 2 p.m we've got dancing we've got there'll be food uh the Old School Players Band, OSP, will be having some great rhythm and blues music. That's a, that's a free um, celebration. Again, June 17th, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in downtown Walnut Cove. Keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. And then our last market concert of June, June 24th, uh, 2 to 4 p.m., Bruce Malatrat and Real Jazz, another Rockingham County uh, fabulous musician. Bruce has been performing over here for many, many years. And I tell folks, if you want to hear some great jazz, you got to hear Bruce Maltrat and mm-hmm. Bill Jazz and, and the performers he puts together. Phenomenal. Uh, the best jazz around that we think. And so um, that'll be on June 24th. So lots of incredible stuff happening over here. And uh, it really hardly is. any time to mm-hmm. breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath. Yeah, I, I had, a, yeah. had the opportunity. Uh, Bruce was part of uh, an event here, Grown and Gathered event in Eden last week. So Bruce and, and his uh, group there providing the music. And it just, oh, oh it yeah. was always so good. Uh, a good yeah. friend, yeah. And Bruce is great, uh, that's for sure. Yeah, Yeah. that's, that, that's top shelf. And, and again, local people. I mean, these are, these are local folks mm-hmm. and... Uh, Get out and support the local artists. There's just so much talent here. And, um, uh, you know, a lot of times we, we see Mike, we see people either playing on Broadway or, or people, places like the Tanger Center or, or Deepak. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, to get to that point, they were local at one time. They started in their own communities. And, <laughs> and, and, and we've got great talent here in, in this area of North Carolina, Rockingham and Stokes and Surrey and, um, Yadkin counties and these these rural counties, and we just we have great artists and musicians and and theater folks and visual artists. So let's get out and support them. And uh, as always, Mike Moore, we appreciate your support and helping us get the word out for everything that's happening at Stokes Arts. It's our pleasure. It certainly is. And thank you for mm. putting it together. And I'm kind of thinking back uh, now that you said that about uh, some of the uh, the people that started here, the roots that are in. 
uh, where we live here in Stokes County and, and Rockingham County and, uh, uh, you know, our neighboring, uh, our neighbors here and the people that started here and went on to do bigger and better things and look where they are now and movies and yeah. uh, making good music and all of that. And also something else you said, Eddie, uh, it, it sounds like the behind the scenes there in, in putting that, um, that show together, the, um, uh, the one you mentioned just a moment ago, um, uh, which one was that? That the, uh, Let's see. Do, I guess was it Dolly? I think it was, it was Dolly. Could, either, yeah, could have been Dolly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That that uh, evidently took a lot of um, uh, work on that to get it here because when you mentioned, well, maybe we'll be able to get it in some other venues around the state. So <laughs> people don't know. You know, we come and enjoy a show in your wonderful <laughs> venue there. Uh, what it took to get from here to there. Oh, you're exactly right. And, and, and I'll say the same for, you know, Rockingham Arts. We're all part of this. Uh, our district, District 10, that's recognized through the North Carolina Arts Council would include Stokes, Rockingham, Caswell, uh, Yadkin, and Surrey. Mm-hmm. So, and, and if you talk to all these arts organizations, <clears throat> stuff just doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. It's great people and great volunteers and great community that make that happen. And there's so much behind the scenes, whether they're running sound, running lights, finding sponsors, writing grants, trying to find money to support this. And it's just so much, um, again, the logistics of it, timing and scheduling. But, you know, we make, we make it work. This area is, is so rich in, uh, in arts, in outdoor recreation, in, in our history. You know, we were talking uh, earlier about the Charlie Poole Festival coming up. And, mm-hmm. and, I mean, you think back to that time period. Which, which, uh, I mean, we go back that far. The history of our, of our traditional music heritage in this area, it's second to none. I mean, the artists that are here are some of the greatest artists in the world, mm-hmm. and yeah. recognized yeah. internationally. That's and right. It does take yeah. so much work behind the scenes, and but, uh, you know, that's what great communities do. They come together and they invest the time, and and uh, uh, and we love the outcomes, and we love, especially love when we see our young people grow into uh, respectable adults and, and productive adults and doing great things either in outdoor recreation or the arts. And it's just in keeping, keeping our heritage alive. Yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, you always got to have the behind the scenes, just like with Mike Moore radio. I mean, there's, there's a lot more going on than we know about, right? Oh no, this is just a piece of cake. I just come in and sit down, <laughs> talk to Eddie McGee and others. <laughs> you know, today, you mentioned Charlie Poole. Today is Bob Dylan's birthday. And one of his many oh, musical wow. influences, from from Woody Guthrie to uh, the Beatles and everybody in between, one of the one of the people that influenced him so much, and, and he has said this repeatedly, was Charlie Poole. So yeah. uh, you, you kind of look at that a, a side of things too, you know. There you go. Yeah. Okay. There well, you go. The influences. That's uh, right. Don't, influence. don't let your don't let your deal go down over yeah. there, Mike. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, we got we got <laughs> deals going on at Stokes County Arts Council. That's for sure. <laughs> don't miss them, Eddie. It's always nope. a pleasure to talk with you. We should do this it weekly. Is, We've got too much to talk about. Let's, let's make yeah, it a we week. Do. No, you don't have time to do <laughs> weekly. Uh, I'll talk to you next month. <laughs> Thanks, I'm looking Eddie. forward to it. Have a great day. Thank you, you, you Mike. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Our friend Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. Thank you, Eddie, for making it happen. A reminder, if you need to know more, uh, you can go to their Facebook page. I'm uh, on that right now, Stokes County Arts Council, and then uh, their website, stokesarts.org. Please support the arts in in our area and uh, get to a many, as many of these events that you can. If you don't, you're missing out on some really Wonderful, and many, many times, uh, just uh, one uh, one chance you'll get to hear and see and, and uh, enjoy some of these uh, very talented people here in our area. So thank you for listening. Again, uh, be sure to follow uh, Stokes County Arts Council on Facebook.